I have all my electronics here and I'm going to test them just hook everything up and I'm also going to do some preliminary setup on my servos so I have my servos here here's my three cyclic servos and my rudder servo and I have a receiver battery here that I'm going to use for testing I have my Align ESC and I got my gyro and my receiver here so I'm going to get the radio and bind that radio and then I'm going to just do a quick test and make sure everything works okay here's how I plug in the servos the three cyclic servos they go in the aileron channel so one there and the next one goes in the elevator channel okay and the last one goes into the aux channel so when your cyclic servers are plugged in it looks like that one in aux one in elevator, one in aileron. Now I'm not going to plug in the gyro right away. First what I'm going to do is center the rudder servo. So on that one I'm just going to plug it straight into the rudder channel for now. I, I put in the bind plug in my receiver and I programmed a basic 450 into my radio so now I'm going to use the receiver battery uh, to power the receiver and bind it and see if everything works so I could just use any open slot on here and plug in the power so I'm just gonna plug it into the gear slot here if it'll fit here it goes <laughs> So the receiver goes into bind mode and I turn on my radio then bind it okay now just a quick check See if the servos work. Well, looks like they all work. Okay. And the rudder servo also works. So that one is centered now, and um, I'm going to go through the electronic setup of all this stuff in the next video. There's some pre-setup that you can do before you mount this stuff on your helicopter, and it'll really help you out when you're doing your build. So I highly encourage you to watch the next video, which is going to be the pre-fitting and pre preparation of the electronics package. Uh, before we install it into the helicopter. I highly recommend doing a pre-setup on your servos before you try to assemble your heli. So I have this three servos that I'm going to use for the cyclics and I laid them out the way that they go into the helicopter. So check your manual, whatever you have, and see how does the servos lay out and set them up so that you can visualize that this is how they go in these two next to each other and then this one right like this and these two are on the front of the helicopter and this one is in the back towards the tail so what I want to do is I want to do a setup on these in this position so that I can make sure that I get them the servo arms correctly mounted and that the centering is all correct and it's a lot easier to do that when these are outside of the helicopter so I'm gonna do that first 
I'll show you how. Okay, one pretty foolproof way to set up your servos and center them is actually set your pitch curve to 50% all the way across. Now, what I've done is set the pitch curve for my throttle hold mode to be 50% all the way across. And what this should do is drive all of the cyclic servos to their center positions um, in the channel. And so that way I can check that I have my servo arm centered at the proper spot. So later on what we'll do is we'll use this as the reference point to set up center pitch as well. So we'll use this to set up our zero pitch on the blades when we get the blades onto the helicopter. But the only gotcha with this method is it is pretty foolproof as far as getting your servos in the right spot. But the gotcha is make sure that you set this back to a normal pitch curve for your throttle hold mode so that you can fly. So I plugged in power to the receiver and you can see that the servos they are moving with the cyclic direction. And one thing that I want to do first is I want to make sure that they are all um, actually moving the right direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stick approximately in the center and then I'm going to stick the servo arms on. This is how they go and then this one this one in the back, it faces faces backwards like this. Okay. So what I want to do is check the motion of my of my collective stick and make sure that when I move my collective stick, they all move up. When I move the stick up, so I've got two of them that move up and one that moves down so I need to reverse that one and that one I believe yep that one there okay so that's what I want and it's important to make sure you do this because if you dial in any subtrim later, uh, it actually reverses the direction. At least on some radios, it'll reverse the direction of your subtrim. So it's important to do this before you dial in any subtrim. Get them all moving the right direction uh, when you move your collective. So now you can see if I turn my throttle hold switch on, the collective will go to center pitch. So it's, and if I move my stick, it no longer, they no longer move, okay. Um, and if I turn off the throttle hold switch, they will now move with the stick. So I'm going to put the throttle hold on that centers them, and I want to see if I can get these servo arms to be centered. Okay, as you can see, these came out slightly off. So what I want to do is use subtrim to get those centered so that they're 90 degrees. This is the elevator one. Um, I also labeled these so that I can remember which one's which. But I'm going to have to use subtrim to fix all of them and get them centered correctly. I got my cyclic servos all centered properly and I have it still you know in throttle hold mode but if I turn that off then I have should have equal throw So that looks okay.